Hello there everyone and welcome back to the Thousand Week Reich, I'm your host, Mr. Jacques Doriot Lover, but we gotta talk about negotiations with the Resistance in a radio broadcast. Radio Paris then renamed to Radio Nation. Jacques Doriot made a sensational appeal. The war is over, I most sincerely greet the Resistance fighters, now is the time for national reconciliation. Let's call it a free French Resistance. Uh, it wasn't unheard because it directly concerned them since Doriot pointed out the difference between Stalinist uh, T guys and honest resistance fighters. A secret exchange launched between the heads of the RFL and the government. The agreements provided for total amnesty for the guerrillas in exchange for total disposition of arms. Reconciliation peace? France needs it. But we're going to get rid of these uh, commies. Despite their standing defeat in the wake of Wagard's death, there are red specters still haunts the hinterlands and back streets of France, killing our men, disturbing the populace. Before France can be strong, before France can be great, it must be free of this menace. And there goes the UK. Of course. They're going to go to war with other people. New corporate economy. Eh, I'm, what, what do they mean by legitimacy gain? Is this a U4? I hope they mean political power, but... Oh, Shipman is still here. Alright, well, whatever. Um, cool. After that one, the cult of Marshall. Hmm, maybe that one. <clears throat> Perhaps no other French men in the 20th century have bled and sacrificed so much like Marshal Petain has. Defending France in the infernos of both world wars. Uh, venerable defending it in the first and easing her misfortune during the second. The Marshal continues to toil for the glory of France and we shall immortalize his sacrifice. But we got some problems to go through. Such as... Someone says, I waited so long for someone to place France in Thousand Week Reich. Thank you! Uh, someone else says, the French state's really fun to play as, especially when you join Italy and intervene in the German Civil War. Oh, I guess we didn't intervene since, as you can tell, tell earlier. Uh, yeah, they're still... They're united now. And someone says, at least it's not like France in the Cold War or uh, Cold War Iron Curtain mod. Yeah... Yeah, I'm kind of glad for that as well. Now the comment was, a revolting French becomes a gamer state. That's the way we like our French. Gamers. Uh, French popular youth is a good idea. French Renaissance on par with the Reich. Um, I want a way to do this one, maybe. France is back. I want to do the po French popular state first. I want to do all this stuff first. And then come back and then be like, hey, yo, Germany. Hey, yo, Germany. We want our stuff back. And then we're probably going to get smacked down, because I'm not sure how well we can actually fight against the Germans, because our soldiers aren't super that great, so... We'll see, we're still building up some civvies. We're lacking... Well, we're lacking a lot, truth be told. We're lacking quite a bit. We have no stability, no war support, but we'll get there eventually. No, the comment was. Uh, let's see, fascism will save France. Well, no, duh. No, of course. Uh, try to revolt against Germany, some, said someone else. Uh, it's better people who side with Italy than people who side with Germany. And then, someone says, please go Democratic this run. Uh, I don't know about this run. Maybe the next run. We'll see. Because, as you can tell, there's a lot of paths for France. So, I don't mind trying out a lot of different paths, but we'll see. We'll definitely see. The French Revolution, democracy, socialism, restore civilian rule, talks of reunification, Dakar, sideline the libs, purge collaborators, sideline the socialists. Cool, but we do some coffee here to keep us nice and uh, warm. Very nice and warm, hopefully. Ah, uh, it's oh, about two weeks left. After jet engines, keep making better planes. And the South MD-452 Mystery 2. Nice. That'd be very good. Is this still going up every day? Nice. 0.2 every day is pretty good. You guys get us how much every day? 0.16, which is okay. And then air experience, that's not bad. Oh, well, would you look at that? Speak of the devil. Marshal Memoirs. <clears throat> Doriot's New France is in the same line of the work for, of the Marshal. A man who, throughout his life, sacrificed his person for France. We're going to pay the tribute to him. And each French man will know what great chef he was, or chief. The children will pay respect to this great Frenchman each morning at school with a greeting to the partridge and will sing Marshal no voilà. Uh The construction of statues, painting with his paintings with his effigies are already in preparation. Streets are renamed in a mausoleum which will welcome his remains. It's in the planning stage. Finally, a large Marshal's exhibition will be launched in the coming months. And every French man throughout the country will be able to admire the services rendered by the Marshal, as well as a deep link between the work of Marshal Petain and the work of the Chief Doriot. Petain, his life, his work, his sacrifice. Actually, you know what? We probably won't do this one first. We'll probably go over here first because the corporate economy is alright, so. Uh, which one, actually, which one did I read? French popular youth? We haven't read one yet. Uh, the man denounces war reparations. Ah, oh, French popular youth. French Jews was long without a perspective or prospect under the dogged machinations of Wegar. With Chief Doriot now once more guiding France to greatness, they shall have a prospect once more. The French popular youth shall instill in the burning ideals of the new popular states, was unending evils of capitalism, Hitlerism, and of course Bolshevism, followed up with City of New National Arts. 
Paris has for centuries not just been the political but also the cultural hub or center of Europe. With many tourists still flogging into the heart of France under the German boot, now Paris shall once more become the shining masterpiece of or centerpiece of Europe. A place where artists from all over the world may bask and work in the light of the French glory. French Renaissance. France is a country of millennial culture. All over the world, the burning sun of French culture shine and led the way. From Guillaume de Lori to Alfred Baudrillard, passing through Rabelais, Molière, Balzac, Apollinaire, the great French culture made the whole world dream, but the plutocratic and Masonic turpitudes of the old regimes lowered our image in a country of endurance and Zazu. The French youth, led by Doriot, have the have the way to make this culture shine again. The U.S. has Hollywood and Broadway. Italy has Cincinnati, and the tenors. Germany has Ufa and Leni Riefenstahl. France was unsuspected assets, and by the energetic political direction of our leader Doriot, France will show the world its full potential. The National City of the Arts is open, and with it, the production of a true French Renaissance is coming. Doriot will be the equal of Francois. France, a power of the Reich. In ages past, France was one of the greatest powers of Europe in the world. Under Napoleon, even dominating all of the latter proper. Through the weakness and decadence of the Republicans, France became weak and easily collapsed under the Hunnic assault. Now that France is once more strong under the Chief Doria, we shall show these pretenders who the true master of Europe is and then the Mediterranean Atlantic axis. The true greatness of Europe comes not from perceived Aryan insanity, but ranges back to millennia when the Romans ruled an empire dwarfing all that the Hun created in might, culture, and sophistication. Under Duce Mussolini, and Chief Doriot, that spirit has returned, and we shall offer our hand to the rest of the romantic or romantic or language world <clears throat> in hopes of forging a powerful alliance to put down those feeble Germanics once and for all. We're still losing political power every single day, which really does suck. Um, Germany's probably actually very strong. They're led by. Oh, Carlos and Buna. Uh, that's a lot of strength. A lot of divisions. Way more than us. Yeah, it's not very good right now. Uh, you know, I'm not sure what they'll be actually able to do. Pro German front, Nua Oldnung. Uh, it is not that strong. I'd like to send them divisions if possible. They're not doing too bad, but we cannot, unfortunately. The enemy of my enemy might still be my enemy. The right renounces war operations, like Germany during the interwar period. France was a subject to a policy of war reparations. But when you think about it, the Germans, uh, the, the German war reparations of France were justified in view of the damage that the German army caused on national territory. It was justified the demand of reimbursement to rebuild the infrastructure, to compensate the population of France injured in its soil and therefore its pul pulpit. Germany suffered no damage to its territory by the French army during the conflict, and once again it was France which suffered at all costs. Yes, that is enough. Oh, France for your species to pay. Oh, do we actually have that still here? Well, Schneikies. Nice. Um, uh, a popular state has no friends. Like what? Uh, well, despite our diplomatic advances, France ultimately has no friends, only interests. Alliances are merely of convenience and are to be only retained, as long as it benefits France foremost. We shall extend this thinking to all of our internal and foreign policy, so as to never repeat the follies of the second great. Well, that's not bad. Yeah, keep building up. Actually, we're going to build up uh, these guys, too. I want to focus more on the civvies, but we definitely need some more millies. Like, my goodness. Oh, it's very red around here. Very, very red. Uh, Armenia exists. Oh, what? What? The well, hash of my. What? Why? Oh, there goes. I don't oh. know. They're a puppet of the Jews. Alright then. Gate scale? Guide scale? Why? Oh, they got a lot of resistance there. Truth yeah, be told, probably expected. Uh, get some radar, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. 55. Oh, April 7th. August 5th. Well, that's actually not, not too bad. But let's see what we can do about this whole Axis thing. New Axis, you and me. We'll see. Arm neutrality. Deep in cooperation with the Accord, eh? Well, we'll see. France, by its history, is a country open to the world and in relevation with many countries. France, even under the occupation, never knows how to cut off from other countries outside Europe. Thus, Marshal Patton took shook the hand of his German counterpart. Such a day can be replaced by one day. He met the Admiral Leahy, ambassador of the U.S., and finally, in Narbonne, he met with the Italian Duce. The goal of the meetings were to point out the meaning of France. With a logical distance from Germany, which remains our natural enemy, we must not hide it. The concert of nations is resuming its rhythm, and France must weigh with all its weight to allow the emergence of a new foreign policy, which takes its best illustration in maritime policy. Our objective is the following, that the Latin nations unite and that the American giant watches us attentively, so that finally the Anglo-Germanic arrogance understands who it is dealing with. 
Tomorrow, Washington, Paris, Rome, Axis. Oh, that just sounds really cool. France is back. Yeah, I did say, like, I want to go down this right first, but, like, I don't want to lose that. We're already losing enough political power and get some more goods, but France is back. With Chief Doriot rebuilding our international presence, we have risen from a mere extension of the Reich to a state truly befitting sitting at the heart, right heart, or right at the heart of Europe. And with the new axis standing strong, even our nominal enemies of the Accord began being more amicable towards us. Oh, let's hope so. Let's very much hope so, as we put all of our soldiers down there, but whatever. Uh, sure, why not? Oh, Francisco Franco. Oh, wait, are you in the Mediterranean? Oh. Well, that's not bad. Hey, Dalsberg. Yeah, oh, wow. Fuel went way down. It's alright, though. Keep getting us point to army XP every single day. Oh, we're already on early mobilization. That's not bad. Happy 1955, everybody. Coffee's a pretty great thing to have, I would have to admit. Pretty great. Oh, next, oh, it'll be in six days. It's not bad. But what about after that? Artillery's pretty much done. We might want some anti-air. Uh... Oh, we could try it at the very least, I suppose. Why not? The Doriel Doctrine. <clears throat> Cass, Cass, yes, please. In these difficult times, uh, the colonial nations have taken control of their destinies in a more or less healthy way, but the fate accompli is there, and there isn't much we can do with these colonial countries. For now, we'll deal with them, but what we have to do, or but what to do? Many of them support doctrines contrary to our beliefs, or but our geostrategic positions essential to our country. Dora then decided to ignore this and shake hands with enemies and potential traitors as long as France gains something. A seat is a protective force, and Dora is its head and must act accordingly. France has no friends, only interests. Wow. France back. Viva Doriot. Notre chef. Your chef. Yeah, I definitely want to remove that as fast as possible. That's just so absolutely devastating to everything we have. That's ridiculous. God dang, we still lose so much every flipping day. So, I guess new corporate economy. I and mean, we could do more military stuff. Oh, never mind. But, true societal harm does not come from the barrel of a gun like the foolish minions of Marx and Kropotkin ought to. Instead, it comes from <clears throat> every working class in harmony towards the good of all. Oh, yeah, a slight. Oh, they finally have a civil war? The new corporate economy of ours shall ensure that harmony and welfare for every citizen is a popular state ought to. Well, that was fast war. Yeah, they died really fast. Yeah, wasn't it supposed to be, like, in the pro-German front there? I guess I ain't so pro-German anymore. What have we done here? Association of the Freed? Karabashev. Saborov. Alright. And these guys are killing each other, which is fine. No one gives a, who gives a crap about the Reds. Especially for this timeline. Uh, it's 55, so let's come back over here. Uh, it gives us more. We'll go with that one. Get some more construction speed. Max factories and stays very good as well. Anything else? Well, we got a few more things to work with here. Never enough, though, of course. Never enough. Keep building, though. And France is back. Yeah, there is no military tree anymore, huh? I wish we could... Oh, I should have... No, we should have gone down this way. Because that would be so strong. We could really use those extra factories and whatnot. But, oh well. Oh, oh well. Doriel tears out the second armistice. There it is. Done. Germany took more than 13 years to tear out the Treaty of Versailles, while France, under the leadership of Doriel, in just a few years, managed to break free. This does not mean that we're going to start fighting against our European neighbors. No. We want peace, and the Germans want it too. But we are equal and must face each other with a calm mind, without any chance or sword of Damocles above our heads, pulling, one, putting one or the other in a dominant or dominated position. And for that, Doriel proposed to Germany a treaty of friendship, so that the Franco-German relations were definitely normalized for centuries and centuries. Finally, finally, this rivalry is over. Let's hope so. Oh, wow. We actually remove it? Incompetent government. The second armistice. Minus 3% recruitable population is so bad. We have a lot of population, though, considering... Oh. Fact... Oh, my goodness. This would be so good to get rid of. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we're 0. 0.5. Nice. And then modern organic institutions. 
The dogged Republican of yore, despite his achievements of disposing the leech, the Sun Leech, did not just reach the peak of its depravity under Robespierre. Instead of slowly corrupting France from the core up over the centuries, until all, we all but collapsed under the first and third hunting advance. Now that France backed its old greatness, so shall its institutions, corporate and people, shall, through a series of chambers and assemblies, championing the discourse between the two truly united as one. The French popular state. The popular state is one that truly captures the hearts and minds of every citizen, no matter the standing, and uses a combined power to create something truly awesome. Something fast, terrific, something that shall elevate from the other states of this world as we take overtake them all. Viva Doriot, notre chief. Long live Doriot, our esteem leader. Just years before we were a la laughable lap dog of the Huns, not much different than their oh so prized Alex Commissariat. Under the stern and benevolent gaze of our chief, we are rejuvenated economically. The people united, spectators, or specters squashed, and the name France being once more respected and feared among the nations of the world. May the state of affairs last for more than a thousand years to come. Dora proclaims a French popular state. Finally, the legal basis of the new French state are launched. Since 1940, nobody really knew what France was, well, which regime led it? A military state born out of a parliamentary republic with strong fascist overtones without falling into their doctrine of totalitarianism. Are the Italians? Are the Germans? What was the thing that ruled France? Now that Doriot's revolution has reshuffled the cards, posed a modern state, reconciled the president of the past of France, the final project is the reclamation of the French popular state. Between the disorderly republic and the rigid monarchy, this state composed of real French. Can now develop with confidence, two men are at the head of France, two who are who complement each other, and even form a trinity. Admiral Darlan, Chief Doriot under the patronage of Marshal Patton, France is finally free. Nice. What does this mean even? Um uh, incompetent government divided military. Uh, let's go over here. The French popular state, more political power, hurts the consumer goods, way more stability, legitimacy gain, and production efficiency. Ooh, look at all of them, yeah. Stability hurts us quite badly. Uh, legitimacy, I'm not sure what really does anything, but we have been doing this. On down this country set cells, we get political power and stability from doing a lot of the stuff. We've already gone ahead and burned all the papers of the underground. We've cleared eastern France of any resistance cells. And we're going to get no more revolutionaries. More political power, stability, war support, construction speed, reinforced rate, and damage garrisons goes way down. Cleared out the southern Maquis. And they'll clear out the northern Maquis once uh, we hunt down the countryside cells. Because we actually have some stability now. Look at that. Wow. We actually get some stability. And got quite a bit of manpower now, too. Look at that. Even though I do like to go to partial mobilization. But uh, we'll get there with, when we do all stuff. Recruit Breton nationalists. We need more guns. Hunt the Union of Russian Patriots. Not bad, too. And kick down the final door. So we got to get rid of these guys. We need more guns. We're going to need a lot more guns where we're headed. Will that work? That works out quite a bit better, but still not great. We do that too. So trying to make some millies, yes sir. And then the, the social French order. That looks really good, actually. I like that quite a bit. And the UK is so violent. France must build its great works and make itself a center of architecture for the whole world. The Tricolor Empire, a previous great empire, is at disarray. It must return order to it. Kick out the leftovers of the resistance from the Black Continent. Ooh. Once a French flag hung proud atop of many distant shores, sharing the light of French progress and greatness with the people who we liberated. Under Napoleon, even hung proud over much of the nation that enslaved us in the decade past. With France restored, we may now rise or raise these fallen banners once again all across the globe. Not a bad idea. Mass production. I like the base, but just, we need we need batch mass batch production for so many things here. It's just so bad. Nice. Finally, we got almost. One PP day. Oh, we were so close. That's actually so good. We got rid of. We actually got oh, enough stability and quite a bit more war support and more political power. More. St oh my goodness, I love it. Uh, we could use even more stability, but we're gonna go straight for partial mobilization. And defensive theory, guys. The Germans are gonna come nailing and trying to just murder us later on. Probably. We'll see. Gun wise, we hopefully can make almost 16 a day. Not bad. Uh, French social order. I mean, we're building up military factories. We might as well. <clears throat> the French social order, already devised by Chief Doriot in 1937, but kept under lock <clears throat> and key by the military goons, aims to perfect the so societal unity we have forged now. Purging the last sliver of Marxism from the Union, the establishing of worker-boss cooperation, and finally shifting the previous economy of production that enslaves the workers under the yoke of the capitalists to an economy of abundance. Yes, please. Nice. We need way more guns, but now we should be able to get more. Keep making some millies. We love the millies. Not bad. 17 a day is not bad either. What can we do? Uh, for you all, that's fine. War economy. Even more fuel, hopefully. More production. Faster production. Not bad. We have no ships. Plane-wise, well, we're still struggling quite a bit. 
Yeah, even with so many factories, that still ain't enough. Yeah. Total mobilization? I'm getting this one would be bad. Even more construction speed would be really good. I do want a lot more stability. Um, hurts us, but more stability would be really good. Ooh. Or take Algiers. Okay. Get more stability as well. Time for great works. The Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, Versailles, were are just some of the names that ring and excite in the ears across the globe, and immediately, let the name of a beloved nation come to mind. We shall add new names to the list. Monuments of French greatness. It always was, and the new strength and power that now is. Alright, so if that means we have to navel bay, this is not going to go very well for us. Uh, get some more subs then. Because we lost our ability to stay in the African continent. Gosh dang it. How are we supposed to do anything without a navy? Attack subs? At least we have some of that. Some of the worst things I've ever made. But it'll have to suffice for now. <coughs> um, but the national established French colonial forces? Ooh. Malcor Mapper plus 10%. That's actually really nice. Oh, well, there goes those guys. Uh, we're looking a lot better there now, which is actually really good, too. If that's the case. Amphibious invasions plus 20% attack. Normal light infantry. Not looking so good. But then again, these guys aren't very strong either, so. Please tell me we can navally invade. Oh, good god. Oh, good God. Please tell me we can. Oh, no. Well, keep building, then. Down for great works. Um, where is it? Divided military we still have, which is... Why? Well, 6%. That's not terrible. Dockyard construction speed... Uh, do we have a navy yet? Oh, we do have some ships. It's not bad. But there's not really much we can do with them. Oh, crap. I just spent 100 command power. Whatever. Who cares? Uh, minus 10% is not terrible. More speed and damage. I like the damage. It's fine. Gets way more naval XP, hopefully. One for one ain't bad. Keep training for now. Keep training, training, training. Time for great works. Pretty nice. Even though we'll probably will do a lot of other stuff around here too. I'm not sure we actually go to war with the Germans, but we'll see. Romania is nice and thick. Don Free State, who owns that? Krasnov. Well, good luck with that, Krasnov. Good luck. There you go. Shove him in. Time for great works. And is that it for the focus tree? That's seriously it. That seemed kind of sad and short. That's a bit too short for my liking. Um, oh, here we go. Expansion of Bodor Port. Marseille Port. Okay, why not? Better attack subs. Nice. Of course, it is 56. Long range. Eh, that's alright. We need more. Uh, I can't believe to wait for that long. So we'll see you when we can invade Algeria. Offers from Italy. Envoys arrived from Rome, offering various proposals for working together with the instability that the continent's hegemon Germany faces. First, they are offering us a place in a planned future Mediterranean Union, and an economic block of states in the Mediterranean to enhance trade and economic cooperation. In addition, Roman invites us to the military alliance of Mediterranean Pact. How should we respond? Your range of options are potentially limited by ideology and other factors. Refuse? Dip economic uh, proposals? Or? Military and economic alignment? Oh, heck yeah. Now we're rolling. Nice Mediterranean pack right here. <clears throat> and we're pretty much ready to go to war anyway, so. I figured, what the heck, why not? Um, we can also do a lot of this stuff. The Brest-Paris Highway, Paris-Brest. Expansion of the Bordeaux Port, the Bordeaux Airport. Kick down the final door, which I definitely want to do next. And then establish French colonial forces. We'll see in just a little bit. Actually, we probably need, don't need just a oh. Protesters? Protectionism? Hit 12 divisions. See what y'all can do. Don't call in any of our allies. I want us to do it by ourselves. We can show the world that the French are back. 
and we don't need any allies to do so. <clears throat> Good stuff, my boys. Good stuff. Oh, yeah, thanks, guys. We'll take some stuff. And yeah, we're actually making divisions. Look at that. Let's go. Go to Oran. Nice. Good stuff. And we've linked up. Yes, we have. Go on in. This guy's not super well trained, but that's all right. And these divisions, I've actually been slowly converting them. The 27 combat with it, it, uh, artillery, so in Italy. Uh, more infantry, though. Light infantry is okay. It literally is half the defense and way less breakthrough. Way, 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 way less breakthrough. A little bit, some less soft attack, so. Oh, well, I think this is a good change. <clears throat> you can find your enemies and just kill them all off. Losses. 444 versus 8,000. They're about to capitulate anyways, which is great. I want you to kill off as many as you possibly can, though. Teach these guys a lesson. Occupation forces, civilian oversight's fine. Light infantry. Militia. We're going to have to use nearly as much stuff. Hey, there you go. Ah, there we go. Now that's just better. Oh, okay, this one. Adrar Asab. What's. Oh. What? What? How do we get down there? Well, let's get down the final door. Um. Uh. Can we just? We, oh, we can. Okay, at least, at least at least we can use our allies and go through this way. Okay, that's fine with me. It's fine. It's fine. No big deal, I guess. Uh, Provence. There you go. Don't do that. Supplies are probably not great, but that's okay. Um, I don't like that we just can't go straight to war with them. Personally, that doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Their bases are nice, I guess. Well, guess using counts commands. Oh, well. Got plenty of guns now. Need more arty, though. Oh, division is nice. Kill them all off. Mediterranean Union, nice. Better landing craft, awesome. Mm. Maybe regarding torpedoes here, not too much. Eh, we'll do that one because we can, why not? Good job. You killed them all off. Bamako. Yeah, I think we'll just take them all. Is it worth it? Honestly, probably not. Dealing with all this extra baggage here. But whatever. Three. Two. One. Oh, look at this. Oh. Oh, cause that's because of a, a love diplo. It's all right. <clears throat> Sap French colonial forces. Nice. Would y'all like to go in the Gwynshaw? The Gwynshaw. Uh, good luck with that. I mean, it is four divisions, but they are militia, so. Wait. Plan Darlau Pouchet. Huh. Very nice. Good job, guys. Good job. 
Federal Republic of Mali, huh? Well, since we're already on the roll here, we might as well keep doing what we're doing. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I don't really want to go to war with the German Reich. I don't really want to. Truth be told, our divisions are not really there. I don't see a point in trying to fight them since we're supposed to, like, be being nicer to them. So, I don't see a point in actually fighting them. As much as I'm sure some of you all want me to. And I have a feeling some of you all actually don't want me to, so I don't really want to attack them. But taking out some Africans, I mean, that's always fair game. No, I'll take him out too. Why not? Thanks, Italy. Thanks. We appreciate you. For now. Balandar. I, I feel like we should get another tree here, though. Republic of Petan, no? Huh? National Plaza site. Strong Navy, the Vegetable Garden of Europe. Um, I mean, there's literally nothing else we can do. It's just disappointing, honestly. I wish there was more we could do here. I don't even think I'm using military police, but whatever. Algodogu. Nice. I do the best you can. Nice job. And eh, maybe two more. See what y'all can do. Keep going, keep going. He's learning a little bit. He's an invader, sort of. Invader Zim. Thank you, sir. Alright, Sierra Leone's ours, too. I'm going to keep doing this and taking on more states, but I assume that's pretty much it. There's really not much else here for France, which is a little disappointing. Um... <clears throat> Before we do that, let me make sure no one else too many things here. You guys go over there, maybe. Enjoy yourselves, perhaps. I mean, unless Italy is going to go to war, we can't have a relationship with Yemen. Accepting European refugees. Still in European front. We're conquering these guys. Our holy duty. Land Hungary. Reopen the Tokyo Assembly. Mea Nostrum, which is not bad either. The Roman legacy is pretty nice. Any place, Italy. Oh, they can still begin their... Oh, recovery. Um, huh. The new fascist... I gotta play Italy! The new fascist man sounds awesome. Have I ever played Italy? Maybe not. Coordinate with African garrisons. Holy crap, this looks really cool, actually. An empire's greatest asset. How do I play as that? A modern military? Lions led by donkeys. Oh, wow. Um, no, not too much there. Adventuring along the Adriatica. Necessity of modernization. Oh, my goodness. By air. Yeah, this looks awesome. Oh, so they went with domestic affairs. Viva el Duce. Look to the empire. Uh, stable Montenegro. Insecurity in Africa. Always false. Be it Ethiopia. The Mediterranean dream. Oh, my goodness. Pass by the tribes. Holy crap. <clears throat> Keep the pact of steel. Break the pact of steel. Oh crap! Continue Italianization in Tyrol. The Grand Council fascist becomes more loyal. Italianize Dalmatia. Isolate the king. Purge among the fascists. The father of the nation. Holy crap! Name Balbo's successor. Siano's successor. Well, it does look like they, in this current path that they can actually go to war with Germany. Which does kind of suck. But, I guess, that's honestly probably going to be where we're going to leave it. New Rome, well, they can go this way, which is nice. But, they can go to war with Albania, but... Who gives a crap about Albania? But, you know what, I guess that's going to be it for us for this campaign. Really, really short. But, it's been alright. Not too bad. Could be worse. 
If you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great French fascist rest of your day.